What's up, Zen Dude Nation? Today we're talking about, I always do this, I always throw my hands in the air in the beginning of workouts or videos. So Zen Dude Nation, today we are talking about how to jump rope to lose weight. Now there's a lot of people out there who are really good at jumping rope, but maybe they don't have the body that you want, right? They don't have that lean, sprinter, or soccer-like physique. So that's because you can't necessarily just correlate jumping rope with having the body you want. You have to jump rope a certain way to make sure that you're losing body fat. So, you're not gonna learn how to do the coolest tricks in this video, but you are going to learn how to jump rope in a way that's gonna help you remove body fat. So if you like this video, please give it a like, guys. Comment below if you have questions, subscribe to the channel, and finally, we set up a free four-week challenge for all of our Zen dudes and dudettes who wanna get sexy while jumping rope and living in overall awesome life. So if you want to get in that free challenge, click the link in the first line of the description and you're in. First thing, when it comes to jumping rope, we recommend that you jump rope fasted. Oh, what's that, Dan? Oh, Dan wants me to explain to you guys what fasting is. Well, fasting is just not eating. No! So if you wake up in the morning, you usually eat your Cheerios, don't eat your Cheerios, instead go jump some rope and then eat your Cheerios. No! Now, before you get your panties up in a bunch, listen, we understand that that scares some people, but when you jump rope on a fasted stomach, you're no longer using glucose to fuel yourself while you work out, but instead, you're fueling yourself with your body fat, which means you are losing body fat while you're exercising. It's the best thing ever. So if you wanna give it a shot, so maybe one day try fasting where you jump rope and then eat your meal after that. Number two, we want you using a weighted handle jump rope. If you use a regular speed rope, yeah, maybe you could do cooler tricks, but guess what? You're not burning as much body fat because that extra resistance that that weighted handle rope provides helps you burn more calories. Step three, you guys, we want you doing high intensity interval training. That means you are going all out effort with the jump rope and then you're taking 10 seconds, you're chilling, and you're doing another Repetition of 30 seconds. Rest. Rest. I guess it's not really repetition, it's just 30 seconds of jumping your rope. And then 10 seconds rest. You can do that eight times in one circuit. And you can go ahead and do that three to five times for one high intensity interval training workout. You guys, you don't even need to listen to me say this. We created YouTube workouts. We got a ton of them that follow this strategy. Step four, do exercises that you feel comfortable with, all right? If you are trying to do a really wild trick, you're probably gonna mess up a lot and you're not gonna burn a ton of calories, so we want you doing exercises that you're already pretty fluent in. For example, the regular bounce, or for example, the run in place. Exercises that you can go super fast and hard on and you're not gonna necessarily be messing up. You guys, so important. Step number five is make sure that you go all out with your effort. Now, if you're jumping rope at a moderate pace, yeah, you, you might get some endorphins pumping, you feel kind of good, but we're here to lose weight, we're here to remove body fat, so make sure that when you go, you're imagining there's a bear running behind you and you need to jump rope to escape him and stay alive. So you wanna have that rope out on the side so you can spin that rope as fast as possible, making sure, of course, you're removing as much body fat from your body as possible. Body, body, body fat removed. Finally, you guys, don't do one of these workouts and wonder why it didn't work. You need to do three to five of these every single week for Ever. Not forever, guys. But you need to do it until you start to see results, okay? Like anything else you've tried to get good at, if you're trying to get a six pack, or you wanna get lean, you want a sexy body, it just takes time, guys. So do these workouts three to five times a week and you're gonna see fat being removed and you're gonna see muscle being gained. You're gonna see sexy again from head to toe. It's all gonna be great stuff, guys. Just stick with it and you're gonna see the results you want.